What's going on guys, it is TSJ. Welcome back to another install video. This is once again another uh, install that has been heavily requested, very requested. I've actually done install videos for Rise of the Three Kingdoms before, um, but this is the latest version, 4.0, the last version. Um, so if you do run into any issues, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, and if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get updates on all of the new content. Um, so guys, to install this mod, they've made it a lot more streamlined. It's really funny because if you look at uh, installs for previous versions, there were a couple more steps, uh, but this uh, install is very streamlined to be sure. So uh, just to get started, because it's pretty simple, you're going to download Rise of Three Kingdoms 4.0 and then Rise of Three Kingdoms version 4.2 update. You can ignore version uh, the 4.1 update, that is included with 4.2. So just click on that. Now this is a very large file, two and a half gigabytes, a uh, very large download, so you know just make sure you click download now. Go to 4.2 update, download now, okay? Um, while they're downloading, what you can do is go to your Medieval 2 Total War folder and notice how I have Kingdoms here, a Kingdoms application. Unless you already do this for your mods, if you don't do this for your mods, you need to create one. How you create one is you simply copy your Medieval 2 uh, application and then you paste it back into your uh, Medieval 2 main folder. Now there will be a Medieval 2 copy, you simply rename it Kingdoms. What that allows you to do is essentially run uh, mods from you know the batch files from the app from the exes that they have rather than just renaming the, that's the old method anyway uh, once that is finished downloading uh, the rise of the three kingdoms you can go to them and here are the two downloads I just highlighted them what you're going to want to do is create a new folder and name it you know anything you want I just name my rise of three uh, kingdoms all right now Yes, so I'm going to, I already of course have that created, so um, once that is finished, you're going to open up the Rise of the Three Kingdoms 4.0, double click on it. You, de you need WinRAR for this, by the way, guys, make sure you have that. I always get questions about what it is, it's just a free, uh, it's like a file unzipping application, you just Google it, it's super small, um, but these are what you have, right? So. Highlight all of them essentially, extract to specified folder, um, and essentially put it into your uh, or, or, uh, the Rise of Three Kingdoms folder that you just created. So um, there it is, you click OK. It's probably going to take a couple minutes because again, it's a very large file. All right, so make sure you click OK. Um, then you click on it, this is what it should look like inside the file, okay? So here's where things get, they don't get tricky at all, but this is really where you want to make, just make sure you're, you're following along, especially. Um, so make sure you, the DO1, DO2, or sorry, DO1, both DO1 files will, uh, will install when you run the applications. So just make sure you double click on part one, of course, make sure you do that one first. Um, and then it'll probably take a couple minutes to process it might take a minute or two to process. Um, okay, so you got a little shield there. Okay, so there is an installer for this. All right. Um, so you're going to click next, next. I agree to the terms. Click next. Now, just to be sure, it is already where it needs to be. Okay. So I, you know, it just direct it to wherever your medieval two is. So if your medieval two. Total War is in like your D drive, you need to direct it to that. Not your mods folder, just your Medieval 2. So because my Medieval 2 is in my Steam, regular Steam C drive, then I don't need to do anything. So I can just click Next, and then I'm going to click Start. Now, what's going to happen again, because I've already, as I said, I've already installed it. I know some people don't like that too much, so I apologize. Um, but when you click Start, it's going to do the regular installation. There will then be a, uh, a like a file, like essentially an application will pop up and it will be reading all of the files um, that are in there. Okay, essentially every single one. Okay, so this first part has uh, over eight thousand. Uh, it's going to take a long. It's probably going to take a couple minutes. All right, 
Um, so don't freak out. When that is, don't do like don't exit out of that. Make sure you let it run its course, and then when it's finished, it'll say all done or okay, you're all set, and then you can exit out of the uh, out of the installer. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing for part two. You can double click on that, um, and again, it might take like a minute or two to process. Click yes, click next, and then you're going to agree to the terms. Go, uh, you know, if it's all set to go or the registry, you can or the directory, you can click next again. Click start. This time it's going to have 12,000 uh, files it's going to read through. Okay, so it's going to take a couple minutes. All right, but just again, let it do its thing and you will be all set to go. All right, last part, we're in the home stretch here, is the Rise of Three Kingdoms patch 4.2. All right, so just double click on that. You don't need to move it to the folder or anything like that. Just make sure you double click on it, click yes. Um, and it is essentially the same thing as the other installers. Uh, you can click, you know, where again, direct it to your Medieval 2 folder. Uh, mine's already there, so I'm gonna click next and start. This one only has a little over a thousand files it needs to read, so don't worry about that too much, okay? Um, but when you are finished, make sure, of course, that Steam is running. Uh, that is essentially installing it. After each install, guys, of the, all that, it's going to run it. So, you know, you can just exit out after the main install and install the patch. Um, and it's going to do the same thing when you install the patch. It's going to run it. Um, so, you'll be good to, to good to play, though, after the patch. So, to actually run the mod, ROTK, and right here, executable. Again, make sure you have the kingdoms, right? Uh, ROTK, you can just double click on oops double click on that and that is how you install the mod you're all set to go again final version uh, of the of the uh, of rise of three kingdoms guys all right really really fun mod I'll say for sure very impressed with the progress of this of this uh, I guess I haven't I guess I haven't checked that out yet too much um, of the progress of this mod. It's really fun. I definitely highly recommend checking this out. Um, again, let me know down in the comments if you run into any issues. I will, of course, get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Stay super, and I will see you guys next time.